So that was a clip from about a week and a half ago when my mom was here watching the dogs and we were away on a trip. Well, the ducks have actually come back and uh, I'll open this up a little bit here. You guys can see Coda, be nice. Be nice. The ducks just showed up at the front door. They are totally tame. We got some bread because they look like they are a little bit hungry and we've been feeding them a little bit. I don't know, they're probably just gonna keep coming back and they'll never leave us alone now. But it makes us kind of sad because these are absolutely not wild ducks. No, they're super domesticated. Look, they catch the bread right out of my hand. Hey guys, duck, 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 duck. Okay. Well, they're distracted by the dogs now. Be nice, be nice, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this because he's getting a little crazy. You're too wild. You're too wild. Those ducks don't want to be friends with you because you'll squish them. Stay. They're so cute. They're like wagging their little tails and stuff. I feel bad for them. I don't know what to do. Like, I, do we call somebody and see if they, I don't want them to like come get them and like do anything bad. I don't know. They're very obviously not wild birds. They came up to us without food, guys. We said, here, duck, 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 and they just came up to us. You're very cute. <sighs> don't call them cute. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have pet ducks now? I, I don't know. Do one of these days, gonna we're gonna see Cooper know. swimming in the lake, and one of them's just gonna be like riding on his back or something. <laughs> That's my friend. They're gonna be best friends. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm worried we'll about keep you guys them. updated. So we're gonna try to bring them into the backyard and show them the lake. We we can't tell if they can fly or not. So this is Chelsea leading her posse through the yard. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. The leader, we're following the leader wherever she may go. Come on, duck, duck, Her duck, duck, inner. Montessori two to five year old teacher setting is coming out right now. The problem is is that they can't fly Do you think they're gonna be able to get out of our backyard or they are pets now? I just want to show them the water so they have In the case water. they're thirsty. This is ridiculous Look at Coop <laughs> Coda, they're not too pleased with this. We're gonna let the ducks swim in the lake, but not Coop Are you serious lady? Go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Cooper, you be nice. Oh, we're getting some drinking going on. That's good. Well, I guess we're duck owners now. I've always wanted ducks. I just didn't think this is how I was getting them. Go in the water, guys, and then you can find your own food. Do you know how happy I would be if I woke up tomorrow morning? And, and they were still here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we might have to go get some duck food. I know bread isn't like the best thing you can give to them. That's all I had. I it's don't all we have had. Duck feet in my house. Right. So, I don't know. We'll we'll see what transpires with this. I'm not really sure what's going on. They're fed. They have water. We're Disney princesses now, and uh, we'll see if see if we have some new best friends. The lawn guy's gonna come and be like, what? <laughs> okay. So it looks like they're starting to eat some of the lake weeds and stuff, and there are like little minnows and stuff in here. So that's more of. Hungry. That's more of so what they're I looking find for. A cute baby bird and then drop it off when it's not a baby anymore. I'm that's feeling really sad. That's what we're thinking that somebody did. They don't even know like how to get like get in the lake. If this was a wild duck, I only used the bread to like bring them here. They now that I've stopped feeding them, they would have hopped in the lake and gone away. But they don't know. Right. Yeah, they haven't even gotten in yet. One of them like tried to step in and then thought about it and didn't. So I don't, uh... And they were thirsty. I don't think they knew this was here. I think somebody dropped them off in... It had to have been one of the, like, four houses in our little cove. Because that's the only place That's so been. sad. Because we literally, like, last week when my mom was washing them, they were out front of our house. And then yesterday they were out front of our neighbor's house and she Snapchatted them to us. And now today they're back here. So I... I think they've been on, like, rainwater and probably people's front yards. Aww. Coda is not impressed. I don't know if you guys can see him up there. This bird is stepping on the other one. Just watching. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Why are you stepping on that bird? And then beating up the other one. You think that's mom? <laughs> and she just doesn't even oh. care. <gasps> are hey, they about to hey, mate? Hey. I don't know what's happening. Why are you standing on that what bird? Are they, what are they doing? Oh. oh. What's He's a neck biter, huh? He's gonna drown her. Are you, are you into this right now? Are we getting ideas? Let's walk away. We gotta give them their privacy. Let's I'm just afraid she's gonna die. Turn, turn a blind eye. Oh we're just, God. we're gonna, we're oh gonna give God. them space and uh, let nature take its course, and then we've got to figure out what to do from there. But this is good. Well, I'm a little sad that 
Well, maybe they'll come back every day. They might. Good job. We're guys. let's get some bird feed and like put it out here and see if they come back. Now we're but that's good. That is really good. So they're going over to our neighbor's house now. We're gonna have to text Nate and Scott and let them know. I bet Haley's gonna be excited. The girls will be very excited about the birds. So. This is good. We were just trying to look up like bird sanctuaries and stuff and see what we should do and who we should call. Maybe they aren't domesticated. I don't know. The rest of <laughs> 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 Okay, They keep going over here in front of these houses okay, and then they... I can see the duckweed. They always, always come back. This is kind of crazy. It's a whole neighborhood event. Okay, so we left them back there. Um, not exactly sure how to proceed next. I think we're going to put Cooper on the leash. This is Super Cooper Sunday after all. So we're going to put him on a leash and we're going to bring him down there. We're going to control him but let him like see him because I don't think he's ever really seen a duck before. So we're going to see what he thinks of him. And then Chelsea's getting ready to go to work here in like an hour or so. So she has to take a shower and stuff. But while she does that, I think I'm going to go get some duck feed from the store. Bread is like junk food for ducks basically. It's a lot of carbs and no like proteins or nutrients. So you guys can see they're just kind of hanging down there. And uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll at least get them some like legitimate food because it doesn't seem like they've eaten in a while. And then, I mean. We're not gonna force them to stay. They're free I don't, to go, but if they don't know how to fend for themselves, we'll right. help them out. Basically. I think I think we're gonna try to take care of them for now and then we'll probably try to figure out where we should take them and who can actually care for them. I mean, we would love to have ducks. She's even talked about having birds in the past, but um, we don't really have the yard for it. And I don't know. I wish they, like, it doesn't seem like they can fly. I wish they could kind of fend for themselves because it'd be cool if we could just leave them here. They can like go out on the lake, do their thing, and then they can come in every day and get some food. Like, I'd be down for that. Yeah, that would be the ideal. Are those ducks? What is that? Do you see it, buddy? He's talking to him. Scooby, what is that? Are they nice? Good job, Coop. Be nice, Coop. I don't think they like him. No. They, uh, they didn't run right away. What is it, Coopy? Here, duck, 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 duck. They're all shaking their booties at him. Yeah. He's being really good. He is being good. He's not tugging on the leash at all. I mean, I don't think they really care that much about him. I right. think they don't want to be by him, but they're like, okay, whatever, dog. We'll stay over here. You stay over there. All right, executing the dog exchange. Here we go. Could we go? Go. What a guard dog. Does he see him? No. Good luck. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Good. I'm really proud of our boys that neither one of them has barked at them or been outrageous. Hey, Coda's trying to get a drink out of the lake. Are you kidding me right now? Coda. Wait. Coda, there are ducks. It's like the ducks are. did it. You just don't care about the ducks right there? Just minding his own business. All right, well, we know if we try to keep him who the troublemaker's gonna be yeah. and who's just gonna do I his really own think thing. You didn't even need a leash on Coda. Uh -uh. I think he would have just come out here and been like, oh, there they are. Not at all. Oh, he's going on the boat. He's ready to go on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he's so horrible, all right. See ya, dude. <laughs> Have fun. They're still down there just hanging out by the tree. All right. Let's hope they stay there. I'm en route to get some duck feed. She's gonna go take a shower. Teamwork. All right, we made it to good old Ace Hardware, the neighborhood farm store. So we'll see if we can find some duck feed in here. So I got this squirrel and critter blend. There was a lot of like bird feed back there, but it was for small birds. If you guys see in the back here, it says, that uh, chipmunks, rabbits, raccoons, deer, geese, pheasants, ducks, turkeys, and other backyard wildlife. I was looking it up, apparently corn, sunflower seeds, and a few other things are like really good for ducks. So you guys can see there's a ton of corn and sunflower seeds in here. So hopefully this is a, uh, a good mix and uh, we're gonna take care of these guys. Honey, I'm home. Oh, you got 
I'm bringing home the bacon for the family. Got to provide for my people. No. All right, so some people on Twitter have identified these guys. They're called Muscovy ducks. Muscovy ducks are known to be very friendly and almost like a dog because they come up to you, they wag their tail, and they act like they want a treat. So 100%, that's what they were doing. Now, Chelsea was talking to her mom. Her mom thinks that the reason why they keep coming to our house, and this absolutely breaks our hearts, is because, I'll show you guys. So that first clip you guys saw at the beginning of the video, if you open this up and you go out here, you can see the water through the house. So she thinks that they were trying to get to the water, they just didn't know how. So that makes us kind of sad, but uh, at least they made it to the water now, and we have some good feed. Corn and sunflower is really good for these guys, so I got a corn and sunflower mix, and uh, let's go take it out and give it to them. Are they even still there? Oh, yep, just right under the tree. I called Chelsea on the way home when I was driving, and I think we've decided, what do you want to do? We're gonna give it a couple days. Give them a couple days, see if they figure it out so they have a chance to be wild. And then if they're really still super dependent, then maybe we'll get them some help. All right. Koda, what do you think? Do you like duck food? That's just a piece of corn. You can have it if you'd like. No, you don't want it? Kobe, do you like duck food? Yeah. We've come up with a... Uh, a new saying for how Cooper treats his food, because he will literally eat anything you hand to him. What is it, Chels? What's if it's not food, throw it up. That's that's <laughs> what he does. He'll he'll eat anything you have. Like I can literally pour a bunch of glue into my hand and feed it to him and he would eat it. So What did we have the other day? We gotta watch out for Trevor that. Trevor had something on his oh yogurt. He had like plain yogurt on his spoon and he gave it to Coda and Coda like sniff and licked and then Very he realized gently. it was good and so then he ate it. Cooper just ran at it and acted like. <laughs> oh my goodness. He doesn't even check it out. All right, let's take this outside. I will say one thing. If these guys decide to stick around and they start pooping on my jet skis or on my boat, go. I'm going to be really mad. Okay, I feel like I'm back home in Michigan. I got my little blue dress, <laughs> my, my little, chicken My little farmer girl. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. Do you remember us? You still like us? You're not see. They're scared of the dogs, but they're not scared of us. That's so and weird. Scared of the dogs. Hey. They should have been. There it is. Oh, they. Yeah. We're friendly. Uh, there's a peanut in here. Yeah. Oh. Go for it. We'll crack it open. Let me get a handful in here. Throw them some. We'll just sprinkle it around so they still have to kind put of it, find it. Yeah. Put it as close to the water as we can so they realize that that's where their food comes from. That's a good idea. We're gonna have all kinds of animals. This is also meant for rabbits, chipmunks, squirrels, and a bunch of other stuff. Raccoons. So we're gonna have a zoo in our backyard here pretty soon. We're gonna have some eggs here soon, I think, after what we saw earlier. Look at that little tail wag. They're so, it's so funny how they wag their tails. Look at that. He's waiting for more. There's plenty in the yard. Okay, you he's, just want it right here? He's talking to you. You won't take it from my hand? That's okay, you don't have to. I don't know, babe. I think I'm starting to grow a bit of a soft spot for these guys. So we're in here cooking lunch right before she leaves. And I went to check to make sure they're still up by the tree, which they aren't, but that's because they're right here. They're just kind of hanging out in the shade, I guess, underneath the fence and the little tree right here. Right? I don't know. As long as they don't poop on my pool deck, my jet skis, or my boat, yeah, we're gonna be okay. If I catch them swimming in the pool, we got a problem. We're gonna have a problem if that happens, but for right now, they're okay. Oh no, it started raining and they're all huddled up. It makes me, I mean, they're kind of under this tree. They can come up here and they would be dry. Or under that tree over there, that thing's pretty thick. I feel bad. No, I'm torn, because I'm like, it's a duck. It's fine, but then also, if it was a pet, it probably had a shelter. Right. I don't really know. Poor guys. I hope they're okay. <laughs> I feel like they'd come in the house if we would let them. They really would. If we opened the door, they'd walk right in. You see him? He sees him. He's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, buddy? <laughs> no. We don't bark at the ducks. Ducks are friends. A few moments later. Where are the ducks at? 
Where they at, Coop? Where'd they go? They're our new friends and we're wondering where they went. What happened to them? Where'd they go? Let's go see if we can find the ducks. Coopy, you lead the way. Where are the ducks at? Where are they at, buddy? We're not going swimming. We're not going swimming. Nope, Cooper, 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 Cooper. Hey, stay. I don't know. There's something down there. No, it's not a duck. What the heck? Oh. Hey, this is, it's a message in a bottle. It says, to Sophia from Alan. What in the, Coop, what is this? Oh, it's a fancy bottle. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna get this out. What do you think it is, buddy? What could it be? Is it for you? His tail's oh, it's not, going. It's not for you. Good boy. All right, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what this is all about. What in the world? It's got like nice twine all over it and stuff. Oh, it's from Alan Harris. He's from Southern Ontario and he wants to ask a question to Sophia Shannon. Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh! Yeah! Good boy! <laughs> That's so exciting! Yay! Oh my goodness! Okay, so Alan got in touch with me via email a little bit earlier this week. He was like, dude, we love your show. We watch you guys all the time. I'm gonna make this happen. Like, can we do it in a video? I was like, absolutely, that's so cool. So, congratulations to you guys. Sophia, you better have said yes. Cooper's excited for you. What do you think, buddy? And uh, by the way, we will be packaging this up and we're gonna send this back to you guys. We made it for him. So, we wish you guys the best, a lifetime of happiness. Let's actually go find these ducks, though. Now, I'm sure you guys remember a couple of episodes back, we were trying to catch the mystery pooer. Well, uh, he didn't strike today. He only partially struck, you guys can see here. We have uh, a little accident in the office where there's always that stuff going on. Whether it's number one or number two, that's the spot. Hmm, Coda, was it you? That looked like a pretty small puddle. I feel like you make a much bigger puddle than that. But it could have been you. I guess technically we don't know. Cooper, Cooper, come here. Hey, doofus. Was it you? Did you do it? Did you do it? Technically, we don't know. Come here, buddy. Was this you? Was that you? Huh? Was it? Cooper. Cooper. Was that you? <laughs> See what I mean? We don't actually have it on camera yet, so we can't know 100% for sure, but I'm fairly certain. Where'd he go? I'm fairly certain he's guilty. <laughs> he won't even look at me right now. All right, so it's a few hours later. I've been recording a ton of gaming videos. Chelsea's at work, as you guys know. Um, these guys are, are still in the yard. They're just having a little snack down there, I guess. There's still a lot of feet out there, so they've got their food. Really, mostly they're hanging out up here. It's been raining off and on, so they're kind of sitting underneath this tree, but uh, they're just hanging out down there, which is pretty awesome. The boys have not gone potty yet. I'm definitely gonna document that for you guys when they do. I'm hoping they don't chase them and I'm gonna try to keep them from chasing them, but uh, we should probably do that soon. You wanna go meet the ducks, Coop? Huh? It's looking like it might rain again soon, so we probably wanna do that pretty quickly. Now, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I went back into my office. I was gonna record for another 20 minutes or so. I did, and I don't see the ducks. I don't see them. So we're gonna go looking for them. They're definitely not down there. They're not here where they were hanging out earlier. I don't see them back here. Oh no. Chelsea's gonna be so sad. They're not over here. They're not in the water. Oh no. Why do I feel like I lost my dog? These are wild animals, but we got so attached to them. I'm gonna see if they're over here. Nowhere to be seen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know this is probably not gonna work, but I'm just gonna check out front. Cause that's where they first, oh my gosh. 
Why do I feel like I just lost my pet? I'm way sadder than I thought I was gonna be. I'm gonna take a handful of, of feed and I'm gonna go spread it out by the tree. I'm sure there's still some out there, but I'm just gonna make sure there's plenty. We're gonna take this out there and uh, I don't know, hopefully they come back. Oh, dude, all right, boys. You guys are free to go potty. Koda, come on, go potty. I was really not looking forward to the time that we were gonna let them out off leash, and I was just worried they were gonna chase them away, but I guess it's back to being in their backyard now. I'm honestly really, really, Coop, where'd the ducks go? Where'd they go? Oh no, where'd they go? Are you gonna sniff them out? Come on, you're like, you're bred for this. You're supposed to be able to find them. Can you bring them back? Oh yeah, this is where they were. You guys can see he smells them. There's their poo over there. Oh, does Koda see something? Hold on. Koda's running. Koda's running. Running to go potty. That's it. Sometimes you're just the best parent you can possibly be and eventually they just want to fly the coop and leave the nest. So we'll see if they end up coming back. I don't have the heart to tell Chelsea yet. She's at work. She works till like nine or 10 tonight. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to hope they come back. And if not, we'll get her reaction. I am actually really sad. Like I was excited about the, the prospect of having these guys and who knows? I mean, we've talked in the past about like rescuing ducks or rescuing chickens and raising them. And obviously we kind of learned here that that's potentially a possibility for us. I am like, it seems like if they left on their own accord, that's probably a good thing. So even though I'm sad, I'm glad that we actually like made a difference, fed them up, got them water and helped them out. So at the end of the day, if this is the end of this story and the end of our time together, we did a good job. A few inches later. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, we have located the ducks. We're okay. I was really worried, but uh, we've got it. So Sue and Rami who live across the street, they were the ones that I said that they came to our house and then a couple days later, our neighbors saw them. Check this out. She's got videos of them in their front yard. An old dude is still going at it. But they're, they're happy, they're healthy, they're actually probably, they might be in sight. I don't know, let me see. They might be in sight through here. I feel a little bit insulted that we went out and got them food and everything and then they left us, but I mean, they're just, they're across the street. So, we're gonna be okay. I have some bad news. Are the duckies gone? They're gone. Where'd they go? They left. Never to be seen again. Well, they'll come back, we've got them. They went over to Sue and Rami's, so they were across the street for a little bit, and now they're just gone. How did they get to Sue's? I have no clue, but then I got a, a Snapchat from her. That's how I knew they were there, and I could see them over in the front yard. But now they're gone. I was just out there picking up my Uber Eats, and they were gone. Everybody's so excited. You're home. We're all so excited. I'm kind of sad, too. They better come back for their brekkie. I know. I went out, and I put more feet out there, so it's all sitting there ready for them whenever they're ready for it. What? are you doing oh, oh. But, yeah, but yeah the ducks are gone coop they're gone i took cooper out and he started crying about it too it was like he was sad he went over and sniffed for him and then he started crying because they weren't there i wish i got this kind of welcome i don't get this kind of welcome it's not fair i'm so happy to see you here Day two. Oh my gosh, good morning guys. All right, it's about 7 a.m. Chelsea's at work, she went to work at five. She was at work late last night and then went to work early this morning, so she's on that grind. But she just texted me, did my ducks come home? We're both honestly really, really sad uh, that they aren't here, but it looks, it looks like they aren't here. Coop, where are you at, buddy? Yeah, he's definitely still in bed. Coop, what are you doing? Where are the ducks at? Hello, big boy, you gotta go potty. All right, we're gonna go potty. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be a duck potty, but we're still gonna go. Looks like we got some people already going out on the boat. Holy cow. Some of our neighbors are crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I mean, they have two spots. They sit here and they sat there all yesterday. Oh, there's a squirrel over there eating their food. We'll see if the boys see him. Oh, sorry, this is fogging up. So that's how far Koda made it off the, the deck to start going potty. Looks like he really had to pee. Coop, go get that squirrel. Go get it. Coopy, go get it. Go get it. Oh, the squirrel's too fast for you. He already went up the tree. What great guard dogs we have. Well, 
We'll let you guys know, but it looks like they're not here so far today. All right, so Chelsea's still at work. I'm the only one home. I'm actually putting together her birthday present. Her birthday's tomorrow. I got her a few things, but one of the things I got was we each got a new bike so we can go like do whatever, go on little bike dates or whatever. I don't know. She's been wanting bikes for a while, but I see three ducks out here. I can't tell if they're the same ones. I think they might be. No way. Oh my gosh. I think they're coming back. That's them. 100%. The brown one, and then the big one. Oh, that's them. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Here, duck, 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 duck. Come here, buddies. Oh my gosh, they're back. No way. Oh my gosh, I've got to go get my phone. I've got to Snapchat chills. I got them a little bit more food. Okay, so this is good. This means they can go off on their own, but they're always going to remember us, and they're going to come back. Hi, buddies. Hello. Look at him wagging his tail. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I'm so happy right now. This is probably an even better birthday present to Chels too. Oh my gosh. Babe, they're back. What's up, buddy? Hello. He's very talkative. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, I'm gonna go get a little bit more food because I definitely want to make sure that they know that they're welcome here. Look at Koop over there. Koopy, you have not been replaced. Come here. But be nice. Cooper, Cooper, slow down. Slow down. Be nice. Be nice to the ducks. They're a little bit freaked out. He's nice too. We like him. Good boy, Coop. Stay. Cooper. Cooper. Stay. Stay. It's baby steps. We gotta work in baby steps. I mean, at least, I'm honestly really, he started to kind of like start to try to run at them and then he stopped after I told him to, but still, that's progress. Baby steps. We gotta take baby steps. Eventually, they're gonna be best friends. I just know it. But for now, I'm gonna get a nice double handful of this stuff. I'm not gonna be able to carry the camera, but let's get him some more food. This may even work better here. Got a nice little Tupperware container. Now, I have no clue how much ducks are supposed to eat. I'm assuming they'll eat until they're content and then they'll stop. Hopefully you can't overfeed ducks. But look at him, he's so excited. What's up, buddy? Here you go. You want some? That's nice. Good job. What about over here? Let some of these guys get some. Let your little girlfriends. Okay, I, I don't want you to eat too much. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy you're here. We thought you guys left us for good, but you're back. Just know you always have a meal when you need to come home. Hi, guys! <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> That is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love these guys. They're so tame. Like I'm, my hand is literally two inches from him. Pretty Let much. He's so happy. You're nice too. Give her some. She needs some. We do need to name him. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comments. But for now, we gotta go. Tell us, let's go. They'll be here when we get back. Day three. Duck, 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 duck. She's literally calling these ducks and they are coming to our house. I'm calling the ducks in my jammies on a Monday morning. This is just beautiful. You we got their breakfast. Here they are. I cannot believe you just called them like that. They're like dogs. I know, they're so cute. So we've come to the conclusion we actually, we can't tell if they were domesticated or not. They might not have been. Cooper? Oh, Cooper, no. Cooper, Cooper, no. Cooper, Cooper. He's just checking them out. <laughs> But yeah, I, they might not be domesticated. They're like, this breed is known to be very, very friendly. So maybe they've always been here and this is just our first time noticing them. I don't know. What's up? Good morning. This is so awesome. I don't know how they got up there. Cause if you guys remember, they weren't really flying all that well. But this is crazy. Chels, what is happening? I came out and I'm like, oh, they left. Oh, they're on the roof. <laughs> they fall. Amazon came this morning and uh, check this out, girl. Uncle Size Duck Commander Duck Call. Oh my God. Both Built by and hand. tuned by hand. Instructions say 10 into the call. Start with a single 10, then speed up the cadence five to seven times. Also, we have named them. Chels gave them some names. They're named after three islands of the most recent cruise we went on. So the big one, the big male, which he is right there on the right. His name's Rico. 
And then the brown one is Lucia. And then the white and black female on the left is uh, Tiga. Tiga. So we've got St. Lucia, Puerto Rico, and Antigua. Rico, Lucia, and Tiga. <laughs> Our neighbors probably think we're ridiculous. Hi guys. Oh my goodness. Hi well, this is a good lineup. Let's do the names again. So on the left, that's a female. Her name is Lucia. In the middle is the big male, the big mean guy that's, that's always Rico. mounting everybody and causing problems. That's Rico. And then on the right, that's another female, and her name is Tiga. So those are our three pet ducks. And they're very dirty right This now. has been kind of an interesting episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Not as much of the dogs. Totally not expected. But it, uh, I don't know. It was totally really cool. I don't know. We're, we're enjoying it. We're having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Uh, I think over the course of the next like couple of weeks, I mean, these guys keep coming back. So we're just going to continue to slowly introduce the boys to them. Still right now, the boys are a little bit freaked out. They kind of charge at them. Stuff like that. Oh gosh, look at them up there. But um, we're, I mean, they're definitely getting more comfortable than what they once were. So we're gonna keep working on that. And then hopefully, eventually, we're gonna have boys and ducks that aren't scared of each other and we can add them to the family. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely keep you guys updated over the coming weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna see you guys later. Peace out.